Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Arrigo Bonisoli, and I am from the University of Modena and Reggio Emilia, uh, which is located in northern Italy, in the region Emilia-Romagna. Uh, I am presenting today uh, uh, a little activity which is uh, taking place within one of the research projects of the Italian Ministry for University and Research. Uh, these projects go under the name um, PRINCOFIN, Progetti di Ricerca di Interesse Nazionale. Uh, um, the year is 2005, that's the uh, actual beginning of the project. And uh, these projects occur at a national level. Uh, they have a national title. Our title uh, is, uh, you can read it here in the slide, uh, strutture geometriche combinatoria e loro applicazioni, in other words, uh, geometric structure, structures, combinatorics and their applications. Uh, I will say a few words uh, later on about the contents, but uh, each such project has a national coordinator. In, in our case, our national coordinator is Professor Guglielmo Lunardon, uh, Professor of Geometry at the University of Naples, uh, Federico II. Um, uh, these projects, well, the Italian audience uh, uh, is quite familiar with these projects. They have been going on for several years now. Uh, but uh, for those who are not familiar with these projects, I will, uh, with these projects, I will only say that they are uh, organized on a national basis uh, on a common theme, and uh, the theme is given by the project title. Uh, but they also have local units. Uh, research units. Uh, in, in our case, we have five research units, uh, one of which uh, is the one which is coordinated by Professor Lunardone himself at the University of Naples. Uh, we have four more groups, one at the University of Basilicata, uh, under the, uh, who, uh, this unit is coordinated by Professor Korchmarosh. Another unit is in Sicily at the University of Catania under the, uh, um, the leadership of Professor John Frido, Mario John Frido. We have another unit at the University of Rome La Sapienza. Uh, the coordinator of that unit is Professor Dina Ghinelli. And finally, a fifth unit uh, uh, is the one which I am coordinating, uh, the University of Modena Reggio Emilia, um, with the members uh, at the at the two sites of the University of Modern Reggio Emilia. As you know, these are two neighboring cities, uh, 25 kilometers from each other. Uh, and we have, um, um, we have research members uh, of the unit at both sites. Also, uh, let me say that although uh, we only have uh, five uh, distinct units, each of these uh, collects researchers, um, uh, that means research fellows and uh, professors, from other uh, universities. Uh, um, the reason is that uh, uh, this project has a rather long history. Uh, it has an history now of about 20 years. It started out in the 1980s uh, the, as the Italian Ministry uh, for University and Research began organizing uh, research activities through national projects, as I said, uh, subdivided into local research units. Uh, these units uh, should, should have an interest in common, a uh, research interest in common, uh, a research theme to share. Uh, now, uh, as we began in the 80s, uh, it was possible to have uh, very many local units. As time went on, uh, these projects have developed in having uh, a smaller number of units. Uh, so we now have five only. This is the, the, the largest number, which is allowed by uh, ministry rules nowadays. And this has, um, as a consequence, this has brought to the situation in which uh, people who formerly had a unit in their own uh, university gathered together with uh, neighboring cities uh, in order to make uh, a larger unit um, in the project. Uh, just to remind you of uh, some activities that you might uh, be familiar with, uh, uh, which are being organized at the national level by this project, 
the combinatorics conferences, which are uh, uh, being held now since the early 80s at different locations in Italy, uh, these are combinatorics followed by a, a, an even number, which is the year at which the, the conference takes place. Uh, so combinatorics 2006 uh, is uh, the last conference that took place in, uh, in the island of Ischia near Naples. Uh, so these are international conferences which are sponsored by the national project and in which uh, results about our research in, within the project are being um, are being um, um, shared with uh, the international audience in combinatorics uh, with invited speakers and um, uh, um, explaining the most recent developments in many areas of combinatorics and finite geometry and graph theory and design theory and so on. So this is about the setting uh, at, the, at the national and international level. Uh, let me say a couple words uh, about what we are doing here at the University of Modena Reggio Emilia. Uh, the title of the research unit, in other, word, in other words, the specific uh, project title of the unit in, Ro in Modena Reggio Emilia is Graphs and Geometries. Uh, although, uh, even speaking for myself, I can say that I do come from finite geometries. My earlier papers were essentially uh, dealing with uh, uh, projective planes. Uh, recently, say, uh, since I, I, I have been appointed here at the University of Modena Reggio Emilia, there has been a, 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 um, my interest and the interest of our local group has kind of shifted towards problems in graph theory, uh, but of course uh, sometimes we do uh, use methods uh, which essentially come from finite geometries and design theory, and uh, so uh, we thought that this was an appropriate title for our uh, local project. Now, we have, as I said before, we have other uh, collaborators from other universities involved in the, uh, in the project. Uh, essentially, uh, Modena Reggio Emilia is the administrative uh, center of, of, uh, of the project, but, of course, we are uh, supporting uh, financially and um, um, uh, th th with all the activities. We are supporting people uh, from these other um, universities, Uni Università Cattolica del Sacro Cuore, uh, the campus, uh, which is in Milan, but the, uh, has a campus in Brescia, and we are, we are having people from that uh, place. Uh, Università degli Studi di Brescia, the other, uh, the other university at Brescia. The University of Florence, uh, the Technical University of Milan, uh, Politecnico di Milano, uh, the University of Padova, uh, the University of Parma, near here, and the University of Pavia. Uh, in each uh, place we have uh, two, three, four people, no more than that, uh, little groups, uh, but, you know, contributing uh, to the project as a whole. Um, now, uh, just uh, because we, ha we are so spread out on the, on the, uh, on the, on the territory, uh, we thought of, uh, at the beginning of the project, when we, we, we designed the, the, the project in, in 2005, uh, we thought of uh, uh, setting up some form of communication uh, of the results which were being obtained uh, in the course of research uh, in some uh, uh, in some alternative form uh, than the classical seminar, uh, typically uh, we have organized seminars at, at, at either in Modena Reggio Emilia or at one of these places. Uh, you know, in the standard format of a scientific seminar in a classroom. Uh, but we thought that uh, maybe it, it, the time has come uh, for experimenting for experimenting some alternative form of uh, scientific communication, which is made possible by uh, modern digital technologies. So we thought of organizing some online sem seminars on combinatorics uh, in uh, collaboration with the e-learning center of the University of Modena and uh, Reggio Emilia. Uh, I am currently speaking from uh, um, one of the labs, uh, recording labs uh, of the e-learning center, 
uh, of the University of Modena, Reggio Emilia. Uh, the location is in Reggio Emilia, in Via Allegri, in one of the university sites in Reggio Emilia. The e-learning center uh, uh, started out uh, the activities as such at the end of 2005, beginning of uh, 2006. Uh, it is now a university center which is responsible for all um, recordings of events occurring at uh, various levels at the university, but also external events, and is also responsible for organizing and technically supporting all the e-learning activities. We have now a number of uh, university courses which are taught uh, 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 for people who only have uh, internet connection and uh, follow the lectures staying back home. Uh, we have a number of courses uh, of that kind. They started out in experimental form, but now they form a fairly well-established body of, uh, of courses which are being offered by our university through the support of the e-learning center. Now, the idea is that of uh, experimenting, uh, as I said, some form of scientific communication uh, through the use of digital technologies, of multimedia technologies. Uh, the, format, the format of such activities should be quite similar to the traditional format of a scientific seminar. Um, we shall be recording uh, different seminars uh, in which people will speak about their uh, research results in which uh, during the seminars they will write formulas as they would do uh, on a traditional blackbird uh, and uh, the only thing is that uh, we should uh, give the audience the possibility of watching the seminar from a remote location uh, through the video conference technology. Uh, this is one of the possibilities which we are not implementing uh, at, at this moment, but uh, eventually we will be, we, we will be uh, certainly possible, uh, but uh, we will be... Uh, uh, trying something like that later on, probably. At the moment, we are only recording the seminars uh, uh, so that they can be uh, downloaded in a digital format on any kind of support, I mean, on a, CD, on a DVD or on a uh, CD which can be seen later on or can be sent uh, to another location in order to be, um, to be seen at a later time than the actual recording. Eventually, it might be uh, placed on a server. Uh, we are uh, probably having uh, all the seminars on a location which can be, uh, from which they can be downloaded from anybody uh, of the pro uh, any member of the project of the unit research, even from other locations. Now, uh, so this is the intention. Uh, uh, so this is an experimental uh, an experimental activity which we hope. Uh, might become permanent uh, in the activities of our combinatorics group. Uh, the reasons for having that are not only uh, because it's, it's becoming nowadays uh, more and more difficult to organize seminars in the traditional format at one uh, specific location in which everybody would come uh, since schedules, uh, lecturing schedules and um, teaching activities occur uh, at different times, at different places, and so it's becoming more complicated to organize an activity which can be uh, um, which can be done simultaneously from all members of the research unit at a, at a fixed time. So we thought that this, uh, re these recording methods could make it easier for people uh, of the research unit to see the seminar at a later time. But there is also another uh, specific purpose uh, for having these activities done. Uh, we are uh, writing down the project at the beginning and at the end of the project uh, we should uh, write down reports for, uh, um, uh, on the research activities which have been carried out uh, throughout the project. And so uh, Apart from the written uh, relations, the written reports that we are uh, supposed to turn into the ministry at the end of the activity, we thought that having uh, digital recordings might be another uh, suitable form of documentation of the activity which is being done. Uh, we have 
chosen uh, to record seminars uh, here at the University of Modena and Reggio Emilia. Uh, uh, and uh, so you will uh, essentially see members of the research unit from our local group in Modena and Reggio Emilia. But eventually also uh, uh, we are recording seminars from visitors uh, rather than having the seminar in a lecture room uh, as we would normally do. Uh, our visitor will come here to the e-learning center and have the, the seminar uh, being recorded rather than uh, being recorded in a studio uh, so that it can be seen later on. Uh, the topics, as I said, uh, uh, will mainly focus on, um, on problems of uh, graph theory, namely decompositions and factorizations um, which admit a specific uh, automorphism group uh, with design properties, with uh, assigned properties, and this will be more or less the theme of most of the seminars. Uh, um, of course, there will be hints to other uh, related, uh, related uh, problems and uh, things um, in the area uh, of interest. Uh, each seminar uh, will be uh, will have a, a short presentation of its own, and so I will uh, refer to the single seminars uh, uh, for those who are interested in specific titles. And I hope that this activity uh, will receive some feedback from research unit members, and also possibly from people uh, of the national project as well. Uh, uh, the recordings uh, of the seminar, of course, w will be in Italian for obvious reasons. Uh, at the moment, it is uh, uh, it is a little too expensive to organize uh, bilingual uh, services, but eventually we are moving into that direction. At the, uh, this presentation has been done uh, in both languages so that uh, at least everybody knows what we are trying to do uh, within the project. Thank you very much for your attention and... Uh,